Sid Roth here in Jerusalem, Israel, and I have just witnessed the most supernatural event in modern day history of Israel. I have just witnessed the most supernatural event that I have seen in investigating miracles for over 40 years. We had 550 Jewish people that had never heard the gospel, knew nothing about the Messiah in this auditorium. And 525 of them stood up and boldly proclaimed Yeshua as their Messiah and Lord. And now we're enrolling them in an Alpha Discipleship class and they will be the future leaders of what I believe is the beginning of the greatest move of the Spirit of God in the history of Israel and the greatest move of the Spirit of God that is going to go to the four corners of the earth and the Jews will fulfill their destiny. What is our destiny? To be a light to the Goyim, a light to the nations. And that gospel is going to go throughout the four corners of the earth. It was supposed to at the first coming, but just before the Messiah returns, it's going to be, um, it's, it, it's, it's going to be an earthquake. It's going to be a tidal wave of God's glory. So many people were healed in this auditorium, but most importantly, they got supernatural heart transplants. They got the Messiah of Israel. So welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Well, Sid Roth here with Warren Marcus. Warren is a Jewish believer in the Messiah, like myself, and he's senior producer here at It's Supernatural. And Warren and I had the high privilege to witness before our very eyes what I consider is the greatest miracle in modern day Israel's history. I mean, I, it, I still, Warren, I still am having difficulty believing what we saw, but you're gonna see footage on this. Let me tell you how it happened. I get a phone call one day from a friend of mine in Israel, and he said, Sid, I wanna bless you and your wife. I wanna pay all expenses. You can go to Israel. I'll cover everything, hotel, foods, everything. Justification. And I said, well, thank you, but I don't want to take a vacation. I know it sounds we should go crazy, but that's what I said. I don't want to take a vacation. But then I had the thought. I had recently uh, been to Israel, and we had a hugely successful evangelistic meeting with 250 unsaved Jewish people, of which the majority stood up and made professions of faith. So I called my friend that set up that meeting, and I said, I have an opportunity to come to Israel. Would you set up another meeting? He says, oh, of course. And I said about how many unsaved Jewish people do you think could come? He said, 500. And I said, sold. And I called my friend. And the next thing I know, my wife, myself, and my producer, and a few other people are on a plane uh, going to Israel. So we went to a city that most people haven't heard of. It's called Ashdod. It's actually uh, a city that is 100% Jewish. And uh, you may know that city, Ashdod, because uh, Warren, what is it famous for? The rockets. The rockets and the missiles that were being sent right from Gaza, most of them hit into that area, Ashkelon and Ashdod. And, but the, the miracles of it is that though those hundreds of rockets were being fired, they were missing the mark. 
They were being sent sideways. They only hit a few things, but it didn't hurt anyone. And so that's the amazing miracle. But in the midst of that is where we had our first meetings. And you know what I believe? I believe that the devil kind of knows something is up. And he was trying to destroy that city before the great evangelism that, that happened there. Well, we had uh, a couple of meetings before the main re meeting. And the first meeting that we had uh, was about 150 unsaved Jewish people. And the instructions that I had was I could say anything I want, but I can't give an altar call, an invitation. Now that you have to know that this bothers me a lot. However, uh, Warren, uh, even th they gave me permission to say anything I wanted. What did you think? <laughs> I thought it was incredible because you just what you did was you told your testimony and you told them the prayer you prayed and how you called out to Yeshua, Jesus. And you were able to repeat to them exactly when you go home and I'll tell you what, hold that thought. I want you to see it because I can't even believe I had such chutzpah. <laughs> That's nerve. Let's take a look at it. You could be a drug addict right now. And God will instantly set you free. No one else will set you free. No one else loves you like God. And if you've never heard it before, God loves you. But remember, when you go to bed, you say, Yeshua, let me hear. Yeshua, forgive me of my sins and come live inside of me. I make you my Mashiach and Lord. Use your own words. But speak from your heart. That's what God wants. Then it was, it was a double header. After that meeting, I mean, no time in between, we have another meeting. And the, the second meeting was an impartation meeting. And I'm going to tell you something. There's something new going on in Israel. There was fire coming out of me. We had LaDonna Taylor play the violin. And then I prayed for leaders in Israel. Take a look at this. There's something so special going on in Israel today. Uh, the Orthodox Jews are crying out, Messiah's coming soon. Uh, th this Rabbi Kaduri, he's one of the best known traditional rabbis uh, in modern day Israel's history. 300,000 people turned out to his funeral. And he said before he died, I've met the Messiah and I will have his name revealed one year after I died, one year after he died, passed, and on his computer it said, Yeshua, Jesus is the Messiah. Think, it's, it's outrageous. Warren, you were walking towards the Western Wall, and you bumped into a rabbi for directions. Yeah, an Orthodox rabbi said, now you have to understand, I told him I'm Jewish, I'm looking for the Western Wall, I want to pray there, and I don't know where to find it, I don't know how. He said, just follow me. He's very nice. He's been here 45 years teaching Torah, studying Torah. He said, you know, I said to him, there's problems I see. I can't go my normal route. There were Israeli soldiers standing there and they're kind of blocking the way. And he says, oh, that's going on. That's, he says, it's just, it's just prophecy. It's only prophecy. He's talking prophecy? So I'm thinking, what prophecy did he mean? So I said, well, what prophecy are you talking about? Like in Joel chapter three, all the nations of the world have turned against Israel, including America. He puts his finger towards me. And I said, wow. And then I thought, what can I say to him next? And I said, I wonder what he thinks about Messiah. So I said, well, well when do you think, do you Messiah, think Messiah is going to come? What about Messiah? What do you believe about that? He goes, Mashiach, 
No one can know the hour or the day, but he is coming soon. Are you sure you weren't talking to an angel? I thought it was, I thought it was a, that's what Christians used to say when they were messianic speculation. Here's a rabbi, an Orthodox rabbi said that said that, but here's the other thing. I went into these different shops. I saw these paintings and I thought a Christian painted it. It was the temple and we have a picture of it. I took it with my iPhone. It's a temple coming down from heaven in the glory with Jewish people at the Western Wall pointing up like an amazement at what is happening. It wasn't man building the temple, it was coming down. And I said, well, is this a Christian, Christian that, that's doing this? I see these in several shops. He says, no, these are Jewish these are artists, Jewish artists that, that are just painting these. They're, they're prophetic. They're painting this new Jerusalem coming down. <laughs> you want to see something prophetic? When we come back, you are going to see something that's never happened in modern day Israel's history. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. The auditorium was jam-packed with 550 unsaved Jews. LaDonna Taylor gave a 30-minute violin concert. Then Sid Roth almost immediately broke out in words of knowledge. Many were instantly healed. This lecture in the supernatural ended with a public altar call and 525 publicly stood up and prayed to make Jesus their Messiah and Lord. They did not stand up gradually. The majority stood up in unison. 525 Decisions for Messiah is unprecedented in modern Israel's history. Now we are enrolling them in well-planned local leadership programs. We expect many to be leaders in the greatest end-time revival in history, an end-time miracle in Israel. As Sid Roth held two separate lectures in the supernatural, 750 Jewish people came to know Jesus as their Messiah in Jerusalem, unprecedented. Call now with your tax-deductible end-of-the-year offering to help Sid Roth continue to share the gospel with unsaved Jewish people in Israel and worldwide. Consider giving a $100 gift or whatever God leads. In appreciation, you will receive your Miracle from Israel package, which includes his two DVDs, Miracle in Israel, and the key to prophetic end-time breakthrough. Plus, you will receive Sid Roth's Download from Heaven, his booklet, The Mystery Law of Evangelism Revealed. Your financial end of the year gift will help continue the distribution of Sid Roth's evangelistic book, They Thought for Themselves, which includes 10 testimonies of Jewish people who have received Jesus as their Messiah and Lord. Through your gift to this ministry, you help distribute over 1.4 million of these evangelistic books in North America through Project 77. Another 1.4 million of these books have been distributed in the Russian language to unsaved Jewish people. Your financial end of the year gift will help Sid continue to air its supernatural weekly in the former Soviet Union to millions. It remains the number one Christian program with numerous reports of Jews and Gentiles being saved, healed, and receiving their supernatural breakthrough. Your financial end of the year gift helps Sid continue to air its supernatural in Israel 28 times a week. And your financial end of the year gift helps Sid continue to do lectures in the supernatural, where unsaved Jewish people hear a clear presentation of the gospel by Sid. Consider giving a $100 gift or whatever God leads. In appreciation, you will receive your Miracle from Israel package, which includes Sid Roth's two DVDs, Miracle in Israel, and the key to prophetic end time breakthrough. Plus, you will receive Sid Roth's download from heaven, his booklet, The Mystery Law of Evangelism Revealed. These resource tools include prayers for you to receive your miracle and supernatural breakthrough. Your financial gifts to this ministry help bring the gospel directly to the Jewish people in Israel and the nations of the world with real documented results. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9272 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. To me, it's absolutely unbelievable. A large auditorium, Jerusalem, Israel, not filled with Christians, but filled with Jewish people that do not know Jesus. I mean, it, 550 unsaved Jewish people showed up for a lecture on the supernatural. And we had LaDonna Taylor, who, uh, uh, when she plays the violin, the atmosphere of heaven 
invaded that audition. What did you feel there, Ward? Oh, it was incredible. I mean, it was just the, like you said, the atmosphere of heaven and healing was in the wings. You could feel the healing spirit of God moving. In, in fact, right after she played the mini concert, I had immediate words of knowledge and unsaved Jewish people all over the auditorium stand up and say, I've been healed. I've, in fact, God just told me someone's back was just healed. Uh, let's go to the first segment of LaDonna playing. You know, just before uh, this show started, I got an email. Uh, a woman was in this group, Jewish, unsaved, and I had a word of knowledge, as I just had. Uh, someone's back was healed, and she didn't have a problem, but her son had such a bad back condition, he'd been in bed for a month. And she said, Yeshua, if you're real, I want my son to be healed. She gets home and she can't believe her eyes. Her son is standing, cooking a meal, and she said, what happened? He said, I don't know, but at such and such time, the exact time she prayed, the exact moment she prayed, all the pain left me. I mean, we are serving such an amazing God, Warren, but the altar call. Uh, I, I, have, I, I have given altar calls for years, but something happened on this altar call with Jewish people in Jerusalem I personally have never witnessed in my life. You explain it, Warren. Oh, it was incredible. And then, you know, the church, if you see a few people go forward, you're like, wow, isn't this wonderful? Oh, uh, we got letters. Uh, the last time I said how many Jewish people were saved in Jerusalem, we got letters of people accusing us of uh, fudging the figures. And what did you tell them? Send the video. <laughs> we said we shot it with seven cameras. You could count them for yourself. <laughs> but here's what happened, Sid. It's like they were just swept up, the whole group of them, just boom, were swept up. It's like, I didn't see hardly any seats that were remaining where people were sitting in them. It was the most amazing altar call I've ever seen, and I had to keep pinching myself. We were in Jerusalem. These were Jews coming to Messiah. Right, look, I don't want those watching us right now to pinch themselves, so let's go with the rolling. <laughs> the Lord has already given you his shalom, his completeness, in your spirit, in your soul, and in your body. In the name of the Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Sikenu, Yeshua, the Messiah of Israel. Uh, when I returned to my hotel from Jerusalem, uh, I, there was a taxi driver, uh, and he's Russian, and he didn't speak any English, but I was so high in the spirit <laughs> that, that I, I, I had to keep talking about Jesus. I couldn't keep quiet, but he didn't understand anything <laughs> I was saying. So I took my cell phone, I called Warren and another friend, Ryan, uh, from the ministry, and I said, We'll be in the hotel in a few minutes. Get me a translator. They must have thought I was, again, a bit of a sugar, a little crazy. But they got me a translator. The translator they get is the bellhop. And he speaks Russian. There's only one problem. He's an atheist. He wants nothing to do with God. So I force him to translate. And he's sharing the gospel. This taxi driver who accepts the Lord, this atheist who hates that I believe in Jesus, is leading his fellow Russian to the Lord. I mean, God must have such a sense of humor. But Warren, 
in all seriousness, we are at what the Bible calls the fullness of the Gentile age. There's two scriptures it's talked about uh, in in the New Testament. Uh, The first scripture is found in Luke 21, 24, in which Jesus said that the fullness of the Gentiles will occur when Jerusalem is in Jewish possession. Well, Jerusalem is in Jewish possession. The second time it's mentioned is Romans 11:25, which says partial blindness has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles. I'm telling you, the scales are coming down. I am telling you, this is the set time to favor Zion. I'm telling you. Jesus is coming back soon. (laughs) Sid, you know, I'm I'm reminded in Romans 11, it talks about how great it was, really, that the Jewish people didn't receive Yeshua because it opened up the, the covenant promises to the Gentile, to the nations of the world. And it says that was great, but how much greater when they begin to come in and they are coming in right now. What it means is resurrection life, life from the dead. We're, we're ready for the greatest revival about to happen as more and more Jewish people come in to know their Messiah. Well, when it says life from the dead, I take that literally. I believe that people are going to go into hospitals and clear out the, they're going to go into morgues and clear out the dead people. They're going to clear the dead people out of hospitals. When Jewish people come back, you mark God's word. It will cause life from the dead. Well, so I'm on the airplane. I am, I am right basking in the glory of God. God, you're so good. I mean, I can't perform any miracles. I'm just like you. If God didn't show up and demonstrate his power with miracles, that wouldn't have happened. But this is the set time to favor Zion. And so I, I, I finally get to sleep on the plane going back to the United States. Two in the morning, it starts bumping a little. And they, they, they get on the PA and they say, put your seatbelts on. And my seatbelt is stuck under the seat. And I'm pulling, I'm pulling more and for all that I'm worth, and I can't get it out. So I go to the flight attendant, I say, I have a problem. And I'm saying, oh, that devil, he really got me. Yeah, oh, no, 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 my God, your God, our God is bigger than any devil. God had a plan. So I'm awake already. I let him struggle with the seatbelt. I don't know how it could get so stuck. And I see a woman, and she doesn't look Jewish. She doesn't look Israeli. She's a a, a flight attendant. And I say to her, are you Israeli? And she said, yes. I said, well, how come you don't have an accent? She said, well, I lived in the United States for a while. And uh, then I start talking to her about the Messiah. I wish I had had one of those reality show cameras on me at the time. Because I said, you know, I happen to be a Jew, and I believe a little different than some Jews. Oh, what do you believe in? I said, well, I believe in one God. He has a name, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I don't believe there's a Messiah for the Jews, a Messiah for the Christians, a Messiah for the Muslims. I believe in one Messiah, the Jew, Yeshua. And the reason I do is because the Jewish prophet Jeremiah in the 31st chapter said, Behold, the days come, and I will make a Brit Hadashah, a new covenant, meaning that the Mosaic Covenant, it goes on to say we didn't even follow it anyway. We couldn't follow it. So God's going to make this Brit Hadashah, and it's going to have three things that the Mosaic Covenant did not have. And we can't even follow the Mosaic Covenant anymore because you need a temple, you need animal sacrifices, and the temple was destroyed in 70 A.D. So you have two choices. You can either follow Jeremiah, the Jewish prophet, or follow the rabbis. I like Jeremiah. Jeremiah says these three things. First, the Torah will not be so much outside with the, to, to fill in the, in the tzitzit, that's, that's the fringes. Uh, uh, it's not an external. It says the Torah will be inside of you. The second thing it says, your sins won't just be uh, covered as they are at Yom Kippur, but God says, I'll remember your sins no more. 
I mean, you could have been the worst prostitute in town. And God says, if you repent of your sins, tell God you're sorry, he will wipe it away as if they've never existed. But the third is the best. That would have been enough, as we say at Passover. But the third part of the new covenant that Jeremiah 31 says is, you will know God. It's the same know that Adam knew Eve. It's intimacy with God. And I'm going to tell you something. If God is for you, who can be against you? The times we're living in right now is the times you must know God. You must know. So they finally fix my seat. I go back to my seat. I give her uh, my web page for Jewish people that don't know the Messiah. They thought for themselves.com. She's going to go there. She said, everything you said excites me. We're in a new day, new day for you too. You come under this new covenant, whether you're Jewish or Gentile, we all come in the same way. There's no other name given unto men in which we must be saved, but the name of Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. Tell God you're sorry for your sins. Believe the blood of Jesus. Wash them all away and invite Jesus inside now. An end time miracle in Israel as Sid Roth held two separate lectures in the supernatural. 750 Jewish people came to know Jesus as their Messiah in Jerusalem, unprecedented. Call now with your tax deductible end of the year offering to help Sid Roth continue to share the gospel with unsaved Jewish people in Israel and worldwide. Consider giving a $100 gift or whatever God leads. In appreciation, you will receive your Miracle from Israel package, which includes his two DVDs, Miracle in Israel, and the key to prophetic end time breakthrough. Plus, you will receive Sid Roth's download from heaven, his booklet, The Mystery Law of Evangelism Revealed. Your financial end of the year gift will help continue the distribution of Sid Roth's evangelistic book, They Thought for Themselves. Through your gift to this ministry, you help distribute over 1.4 million of these evangelistic books in North America through Project 77. Another 1.4 million of these books have been distributed in the Russian language to unsaved Jewish people. Your financial gift will help Sid continue to air its supernatural weekly in the former Soviet Union to millions with numerous reports of Jews and Gentiles being saved, healed, and received their supernatural breakthrough. Your financial end of the year gift helps Sid continue to air its supernatural in Israel 28 times a week. And your financial end of the year gift helps Sid continue to do lectures in the supernatural, where unsaved Jewish people hear a clear presentation of the gospel by Sid. Consider giving a $100 gift or whatever God leads. In appreciation, you will receive your Miracle from Israel package, which includes Sid Roth's two DVDs, Miracle in Israel, and the key to prophetic end time breakthrough. Plus, you will receive Sid Roth's download from heaven, his booklet, The Mystery Law of Evangelism Revealed. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9272 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, my guest went on a search to find the most supernatural prayers in the Bible. Would you like to know these prayers? Yeah. I would. Yeah.